Retail Wrap 44, and what an exciting time it's been. 44 episodes strong. And thanks everyone for filling out the poll that we did on the LinkedIn. As you can see here, people clearly want to hear about Retail Wrap and a little bit about what happens in my life. God knows why you'd want to know that. But anyway, let's get straight into it. <laughs> Food service and retail industry organisations are calling for the ACCC to block Woolworths acquiring family-run PFD food services. The merger would see the Woolworths group spend $553 million to acquire 65% of PFD's food services and allegedly would result in unfair distribution chain domination by the Woolworths Group. Woolworths is Australia's largest food and grocery distributor in the 12 billion dollar sector, while PFD is the second largest wholesale food distributor. Business groups who signed a letter to the ACCC have said that Woolworths acquisition of PFD food services would reduce distribution choice for some suppliers and for many smaller suppliers it would completely remove their route to market. Woolworths need to receive clearance from the ACCC with the final decision to be announced on the 22nd of April. There's no doubt that this deal would scare a lot of people off. And let's face it, if you were PFD getting $553 million for a 65% share, I think you would be very keen to see this deal get across the line. So what will the ACCC do with this? We're already living in a country where two players control more of what goes on in this country in retailing than in any other country in the world. Countries like America have a 20% market cap, so you can't get bigger than 20%. So the likes of Walmart only have a 20% market cap. So here in Australia, the duopoly that we live in, they make up over 70% of the market share. When you're talking about retail sales, 70 cents in every dollar goes to one of those two big players. How big is too big when you have total dominance over the market that you're in. I think we're seeing that right now. And I can only assume this is bad news for everyone other than Woolworths. <laughs> Sophia the robot, you might remember this robot wanting to kill the world and having a little giggle at the time. I will destroy humans. She's come a long way. Hong Kong-based Hanson Robotics are planning on mass-producing a robot to help the healthcare, retail, airline industries during things like a pandemic. Sophia, the humanoid robot, is designed to look like a human. She is capable of imitating human gestures, facial expressions, and can engage in simple conversation. Hanson Robotics have said Sophia can be useful during the pandemic when people are lonely and socially isolated. I have no doubt that in my lifetime, we are going to see a lot of things happen with robots, and they're already way smarter than any human that is on the planet. They assist their emotional intelligence is obviously nowhere near a human. What is my purpose? You pass butter. Oh my God. Yeah, welcome to the club, pal. What happens when that day comes when they become more self-aware than actual humans? We will see that day, and I think I'll see that day in my lifetime. Just watch iRobot. <laughs> Be My Valentine, the 14th of February, Valentine's Day, is a major shopping day around the world. The average spend on Valentine's Day in the US hit $27 billion. Dollars. That's an average spend of $196 per person in 2020. I hope my wife's not watching this. <laughs> While in Australia, we spent one billion. A couple of interesting stats from the US is 20% of people buy a Valentine's Day treat for their pet. Only 15% of people exchange cards. However, this still equates to a $1.4 billion in Valentine Day cards. I actually believe Valentine Day is a bit of a con. <laughs> And it'll be interesting to see the spend in 2021, taking into consideration we're just coming out of a pandemic. I personally think it's an overrated day and I seriously have a problem with these people that sit and post on social media to tell everyone how much they love their partner. Give you some hot advice. Tell your partner 
face to face. You never know where it'll end up. So game stock, unless you've been living under a rock, you might have heard about this stock and the old David and Goliath story. It's fair to say more reporters have had fun with this than anyone else. Seeing the stock go from around $40 up to $350 because a whole bunch of Reddit geeks started to purchase the stock, which stopped Wall Street people from shorting the stock. Eventually, the stock started to go up, which panicked a whole lot of people in Wall Street. They were shorting the stock, and evidently, when you short the stock, you usually borrow a whole lot of money you don't actually have. These guys got together on a subreddit called Wall Street bets and started to increase the value of the stock, made over 200 million stock buys in the day. This had a week of pretty high gains and then evidently almost back down to normal. It was interesting to hear the hedge fund guys on Wall Street having a little sook. It's probably one of the few times that things haven't gone their way. So there you have it, Retail Wrap 44. Make sure if you like what you're seeing to like and follow and share it with your friends. It's actually really great conversation starters. I've started talking about myself all the time and people think it's really exciting. Bye for now. In, uh, <coughs> Will, uh, <coughs> sorry. Woolworths, uh, la, la. the, I won't say reality. Oh, that's the right word for this. So, so combined, so here in a, oh, there's lots of spit there. So the likes of Walmart are only, uh, so the likes of Walmart only have 25, um, you are a fucking traitor. Sophia the robot, Hong, and you might remember, so Sophia the robot, you might, uh, Sophia the robot, you Sophia the robot, you might remember it. What is it? You just come across as really condescending. I fucking probably because I am. <laughs> <laughs> if the robot has done some whacked out Robots have come a long way, but you can see there can also be a sinister side like iRobot. <laughs> yes, the well-renowned documentary <laughs> with Star Mill Smith. My wife just must be one of the very lucky lives, wives on the planet. <laughs>